afternoon. I'm Devin Romano. And I'm Megan Blood. And this is Wolfpack News for Thursday, September 22nd, 2016. The Key Club is holding their crayon drive. Bring new or used crayons to J206 or the decorated containers by the department offices until the 30th. The Key Club will be melting broken crayon bits to create colorful, fun crayon shapes to donate to hospitalized children in honor of childhood of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The District 308 Annual Food Drive runs through next Tuesday. We're trying to win that trophy back from OHS. In order to do this, third period teachers should have their students bring in any non-perishable items to class on a daily basis. The winning class will win a free breakfast. As part of ACE, Accelerate Career Through Education, OE is hosting a college prep boot camp October 1st and March 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The fee is $40 for a parent and student. Sign up for this event at aceeducationcollege.com or stop by Student Services. ACE events include a, ba a Black Engineers History event, including Make and Take Engineer Stations in February. After school tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 is now available. Here's a look at where tutoring meets. Tutoring is offered in math, English slash writing, and science. Activity buses will provide transportation after tutoring. A bus pass must be obtained from the tutor in order to board the bus at 3.40. National Honor Society members are available during lunch periods to tutor as well. If you're interested in becoming a member of New Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society is applications are now available. Pick one up from the folder outside the math office, E380. A minimum 3.7 math GPA is required. Signed applications and money are due by tomorrow. Please turn them in to Mrs. Newston or Mrs. Gossett and, co and contact them with any questions. East TV will be right back after this message. Freshman girls powder puff practices today after school from 2.30 to 3.30. Meet in Miss Lopez's room, F-122. College visits have begun. Sign up for a visit in the College and Career Center. Here's a look at who's going to be here. Talk, Teens Activating the Language of Kindness is November 10th and November 16th. The event is a one-day in-school retreat that focuses on communication, respect, and diversity appreciation. Students participate in small and large group activities that focus on team building. Students also discuss topics that adolescents experience. You must sign up and turn in a permission slip if you are interested in attending. Pick up an application in Student Services soon. Interested in being a talk leader? Go to Student Services for more information. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Kyle. Triam Honor Society is hosting their first monthly open mic next Wednesday at 5.30 in the choir room with a $2 recommended donation. It's open to everyone in all styles of music, covers or originals. A PA system or equipment is provided, so just bring your instrument, voice, and talent. That's all for entertainment. Now, back to the anchor desk. All juniors will be administered in the PSAT Wednesday, October 19th. The test is a comprehensive assessment program that measures college and career readiness that pro and provides students with the tools they need to start planning for the future. All juniors should have received study guides in their English classes and can visit student services for additional resources. The National Hispanic College Fair is at East Aurora next Thursday and transportation is provided. Please stop by the College and Career Center to sign up. Looking for some fun volunteer hours? Dick's Mini Donuts is looking for students to assist with making and selling mini donuts at the OE Bonfire on Wednesday, October 5th. Volunteers can sign up for one hour time slots or more down in student services. If you have not picked up your picture package, you may do so before, after, and during your lunch periods only in the main office. The Cosmetology Club will meet Monday in room G338. The hands-on event will include skincare basics and do-it-yourself pampering facial masks. Do not forget to bring your own washcloth in a bag and $1 to cover the cost of the supplies as well as your filled out school contract. This meeting will begin in 
at 2.35 in G338 on September 26th. See Mrs. Neslahowski for more information. The Scholastic Bowl is holding their first meeting of the year next Thursday in room C107 from 2.30 to 3.45. All students are welcome, even those in fall and winter sports. No prior experience is necessary. See Mr. Brown or Mr. Carlisle if you have any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Jake. October 3rd to the 7th has been marked as No Orange Week for the week of Crosstown. Wear blue and silver all week and show your school spirit. Volley for the Cure girls volleyball t-shirts are available for sale until Friday. The 11th annual match is Tuesday, October 11th at home against OHS. Shirts are $10 with all proceeds going to the Jimmy V Foundation. The Oswego East Varsity boys soccer team played Plainfield South and won 3-2, making them 2-0 in conference. The girls' varsity volleyball team won against Joliet Central. The game featured Allison Bertrand with 7 kills, Hannah Borderman with 11 assists, and Megan Delaney with 2 kills. That's all for sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Devin Romano. And I'm Megan Blood. Join us again Monday on East TV. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day. Wolves rock! rock.